Now, I have received many letters from people all over the country about Bill Cosby, but one really stood out. Lisa and her mother wrote into the show when the Cosby story broke. Lisa says she was a 21-year-old aspiring model when she met the megastar comedian who offered to help her with her career. She is breaking her silence for the first time right now. So this is a story you have not read about. The year was 1988. The owner of the modeling agency I worked for called me and said that Bill Cosby would like to meet with me. I was very excited to go and see him. I was starstruck. I felt invincible. I couldn't believe that he wanted to see me. I got to the hotel. He was a gentleman and he was respectful and kind and he seemed very interested in me and that made me feel very secure in seeing him again. He was the Jell-O pudding man. He was everyone's dad. The next time that we met, I had asked if my mother and sister could join us. And he said yes. So we all went up to the Elvis suite. We had a great time. We took pictures. My mother trusted Bill completely. But Lisa claims he ended up betraying that trust during a mentoring session in his hotel suite. Bill Cosby called me out of the blue and he said, can you come by and see me? And I was like, of course. And I went up to his hotel and I was alone. And he talked about, let me see what type of acting skills you have. I want you to improv. And as I tried to do improv, he fixed a drink and then he brought it to me. It was a brown liquid and it looked like a shot. I told him I didn't drink. He said that this was going to relax me so that the lines would flow out a lot easier. So I did drink it. He made a second drink and had me drink the second drink as well. I noticed myself getting a little dizzy. Bill had sat down on the edge of the couch. He said, come over here and have a seat. He had his legs open. And when I sat down, I was sitting down in between his legs with my back to his crotch. He started to stroke my hair back in a petting motion like this. The last things I remember is just feeling the strokes on my head. After that, I don't remember anything else. Well, Lisa has not spoken publicly about her allegations and is coming forward for the first time right now, this minute, today. How do you feel about coming out and, and talking about this right now, right here? I was not interested in talking about it out loud. One of my close friends, who's a detective in Raleigh, Catherine, she told me to file a report. I wanted the police to be able to just confront him and let him know that I know he did something wrong. You know if you were on the witness stand, and this is part of your point of, about not filing the report, not filing charges, you don't really know what happened. Do you know if he raped you? Do you know if, if he molested you in some way? Do you know, you, you don't really know what did happen. No. 